It's the Green Boater, and we are at the Seattle Boat Show. We are with Mercury Marine, we're speaking with Dan, and today we're gonna to look at the expansion of the Avatar line. Thank you for hosting us. Thanks for having me, excited to talk about it. But how are people responding to seeing this expanded line? Yeah, I think the first thing that people notice, especially at a boat show environment like today, it definitely looks different. It grabs their attention, and which is a good thing for us because we're attracting attention to a new product line that we're developing for a complete electric line of outboards, which is a different technology, brings sustainability to boating, and brings a lot of benefit of beneficial features as well, whether it's you know quiet noise, easy maintenance, easy to use. There's a lot of great elements about electric propulsion. Is there an acceptance for electric power? Yeah, I'd say from an acceptance standpoint, there's definitely a lot of individuals that are looking for the technology. You get a lot of people that have sailboats, yacht tenders, short run type of applications where they want that quiet, quiet and easy operation. We've seen it across a full spectrum of demographics, whether it's young and old. Every boater out there would rather rather have cheaper fuel and no maintenance. It definitely, I think that's one of the benefits that, especially for people that are using it as a tender, they might not be focusing on the propulsion system all the time. Kind of being caught off guard with maintenance issues is, is something that electric avoids. Our electric line up here puts the motor in the bullet of the outboard, which eliminates the need for gear lube, cooling, spark plugs, oil changes. It's a, it's a very beneficial feature of the product. Really the only maintenance you're looking at is ma making sure that you're managing your battery appropriately. Last year we were here and there was one lonely avatar, the 7.5E. Now we've got four. So, is that right? There's five, okay. Display here, there, there's five. Uh, three that are officially in the market two that are coming later this year. So we've got the 7.5E, you guys talked about it last year. Um, a great entry level portable product. It is a one horsepower model, but with the instant torque you're gonna get out of that product, it's gonna perform like a three and a half. A great product with an integrated battery in the cowl. You're gonna have a lot of the benefits of carrying it at lightweight. It's got our, what we consider to be our quick release transom bracket that allows you to easily remove it from the vessel, carry it, and easily place it back on board. It's got all of our enhanced user experience, I'd say, with our gauges that are you know, color, easy to see in the sun. You're gonna be able to manage your range appropriately with you know, seeing your state of charge on that gauge, seeing how far you can run at your level of throttle, as well as seeing the distances. Moving on from the 7.5E, you step up in power to our 20E. It might look a little bit different than the 7.5E. It looks smaller, even though it is three times more powerful. Uh, and that's because it has remote batteries instead of batteries inside the cowl. You know, more powerful, you require a little bit more energy on board so that those batteries become a little bit too large to fit in the cowl so they are stored remotely. 20E can be powered with a single 2.3 kilowatt hour pack. You can string together up to four if you use our power center uh, that allows you to integrate the batteries together. A lot of the same features as the 7.5E on the display side, no longer having the integrated battery, but a lot of the same usability experiences there. You do have the option for faster charging with, with the larger batteries. So a 230 watt charger is standard on that with the option to go to 520. You move higher from the 20E to the 35 it's going to leverage the same battery system as the 20E, but it requires at least two of the 2.3 kilowatt hour packs. Integrated to the power center, power center is going to give you single point charging. It's going to give you a place to, to de-energize the system. You can pull the batteries out and charge them individually if you want, but the power center gives you a single point access as well. What was the horsepower equivalent? 20E is 2,000 watts. That's a three horsepower at the prop shaft. It's gonna perform or accelerate like a six. Your 35E is 3,500 watts. It's gonna be five horsepower at the prop shaft. It's gonna accelerate like a nine nine. All these are available. We have announced earlier at CES um, in January, our planned release of the 75E and the 110E. Uh, that really means as you step up the wattage, you're talking about 7,500 watts, which is 10 horsepower. It can accelerate like a 15 or a 20. And then our 110E, which is 11 kilowatts, is a 15 horsepower that's going to accelerate like a 25. We'll have some more details on battery systems and specs on those products um, later this year and expect them to start shipping in about mid-year 24. So for the models that are available today, what is the price point and availability for the units and then the batteries? So availability, they're all available. Uh, there, there's uh, lead times just packaging the systems together, but they'll get them out the door quick. 
Um, our 7.5e is out of the box with the battery, with the charger, with the prop, outboards ready to go and mount and, and use, uh, $3,500. The 20e, which you can run with a single battery and a harness, um, that system with one 2.3 kilowatt hour pack and the harness to connect to the outboard is 6,500. And then as you step up to the 35E, now you're talking about two 2.3 kilowatt hour packs, a power center to manage the connections and all the harnessing, it's gonna be around 10,500. For those folks who would like to explore a little bit more who aren't at the show, where can people go to find out more about the Avatar line? A whole lot of content online at mercurymarine.com. We've got a lot of our brochures, the same ones that you end up getting here. Obviously, if you need more details and want, want to get hands-on, we've got a, a dealer network that can help you do that as well. Wonderful. Dan, I want to thank you on behalf of the Green Boater community. And also, just uh, wonderful to see um, this lineup just blowing out. And Mercury is leading the way when it comes to some of the big brands and really is encouraging to see uh, the investment and it's pulling this market directly where we need to be and that is to have a safer, cleaner, fossil fuel free environment. And again, the show notes will have all the links and you can find the information that we talked about. Again, thank you very much, Dan. Thanks for having me.